Now I gotta run back. Oh well. Worst things have happened, I guess. I'll just come up and backstab. Okay, now I can't backstab you. I can just not let that backstab happen. There we go. Backstab. You're dead. Extra thousand souls. And I have to fight this one. I missed the backstab. Oh well. There we go. Backstab you. Now we'll have an extra 2,000 souls for the next bonfire. I can skip you so I'm not going to even worry about you. Once again I ran too far. I wasn't paying attention and this tight night pull hits you through the wall. That'd be bad. It does happen though. Alright, so this time I'm going to be a little more careful, I guess, on the fight. We're going to have full S-Disc, though. However, heal's going to be completely useless. As you saw, there's really not any time to get a heal used. But hey, you know what? Our souls are right there. And we're not going to get any free damage on Einstein before Smo gets here, because... Wow, smoke hot here quick. And Ornstein instantly jumped away. Come on. You always want to try and stay targeted on the one you want to kill, but you got to keep them both kind of in your sights. I wish they could hit each other, because smoke just would murder Ornstein. Oh, this was a mistake. I wanted to use a power attack there, and I paid dearly for it. As you can see, I'm gonna have to use an Estus now to n make up for that mistake, and then dodge his lightning. You gotta constantly dodge both their moves. Okay, I'll trade that. It's one attack for one attack. Especially because mine did a lot more. I think I've only hit you twice now, Ornstein, and you're already down that low. But yeah, like, I don't know. They can probably kill me again. Cool, fantastic. That was 100% luck that I lived. I have to drink twice now. Okay, so as you see, sometimes it just sucks. Oh man, he, he went the long way. Alright, so he stabbed me and then I got hit by Aura Smo. It's just a lot of painful everything. Once again, probably gonna die here. I was kinda lucky that I didn't die there, truthfully. So we're back down to five Estus Flasks. And we don't even have Ornstein killed yet. This this attempt is going a lot worse, I believe, honestly. So we're just gonna try and kill off Ornstein now as quick as possible. And Smo just comes out of nowhere, like always. That's what Smo does. He's a dick. Fuck off, Smo, dude. Please stop doing that. That's how you killed me last time. I don't need you to keep doing that. And I know it wasn't that exact ability that killed me. But we're going to skip that cutscene. We've already seen it play through. And try our best to not get free damage there. So we did get our full heal. We have four rest disc, 18 humanity. As long as I don't mess up here, we can do it. Alright, so we just need to kind of stay out in the open here with Smo. Alright, so that's just one Estus that we're going to have to use there. Easily dodged though. That's the second Estus we're going to have to use there. Like, Alright, so he's definitely going to win in the 
terms of who can heal the fastest. I rolled into him. I could have attacked him there. Instead, I rolled into him. Okay. And he dumped backwards. It's not fair that this fat guy can move that quick. To where he can jump. And get away from my... Oh, man. So, this could actually be your death if he decides to use his big attack right now. We're going to have to use the second Estus just so we can stay at high enough health. In case he wants to do something dumb. Once again... I'm trying to get him to do his lunging attack, which he doesn't. There we go! Yay, lunging attack! <sighs> Please do it again. Normally, when he does that, it gives you a little bit to get at least one hit in. Here, two hits. Pretty easy. I had to back off, though, because I was kind of scared that he might try and do the. Electric butt bounce. Cause I don't know what else to call it. it. He basically just butt bounces and it hurts. It's way too strong. Here, we're only gonna get. Wow! Really lucky that that didn't go off. I did just enough damage there to stun him. Very happy about that. Because that was, that was death. I'm sorry, but we would have died there. That was 100% death. This is also death. This is death. We need to get far away from him now. Humanity will be full health. We can do one hit. Oh, we got him just as he was jumping away. We got the edge of his big belly. Alright. So, like I said, I don't care about using humanity as to heal. I just want to play. Oh, you went way too far. You never go that far. Come on. Alright, so we need to use another humanity heal here. I can't get that low. Like, in case I do get caught out by one of his flops, I need to be just under. Okay, here it is. That's final hit. So, there we go. Ornstein and Smo got the soul of Smo. And only one humanity back for our troubles. Though, I don't even care. I'm just happy that he's dead. Oh, and a nice cool 50,000. Level up or two there, huh? Always nice, always nice. Like this bonfire. Rest at the bonfire. Get some Estus flasks. So we're gonna kindle this to go back to 10 Estus. The main reason I'm kindling these bonfires is... Mostly, I mean, honestly, for the Estus, but it's always, always useful to have kindled bonfires. So while we're here, that's only three level ups. Fantastic. Level 50 though, we can repair our equipment. As you know, I like to repair everything. And open these doors. Thou hast journeyed far and overcome Look at that rack. Come hither, child. I'm here, but look at those, like, the jugs of infinite wisdom. Alright, so, yeah, I'm here. You're not even moving your lips. Have you waited me? She said queef. At least she sounds like she said queef. Ah. So, Lord Vessel. And inherit the fire of our world. Thou shalt end the eternal twilight and avert further undead sacrifices. Why, thank you. Goodbye. But the Lord Vessel allows you to fast travel to anything that's been kindled. 
I believe. So look, now I can warp to any of the places that we've been before that I kindled. Very nice. Very, very nice. So, yeah. It's nice. We have the Lord Vessel. We can port around. Maybe. He's, I guess, like going crazy. Maybe. I don't care. What was I gonna do? Um. There's a raven back there. See him through the looking glass, the hole, looking glass. Ah, oh, God, what do I want to go do now? All right, so we got the Lord Vessel. We'll just come over here. We're in, oh look, here's giant snake dude, King Cramped. We're not even gonna talk to him. Fuck off, King Cramped. So you jump in here. You get taken to like. Yeah, magic just saves you from this fall. It's fantastic, but you still take the uh falling sound. But yeah, like... Where are we? Is what you might be asking yourselves. We're underground. Lord Framps, like, weird twisted body should be somewhere around here. Giant sneak. We didn't even talk to him. We just came down here to place the word vessel. Like, how could we carry this giant ass, that giant ass thing? I don't understand it. Did you guys see it on my body anywhere? No, no, you didn't. Then again, I guess I, I guess I do have armor and shit to carry. Oh wow. If you could feel the controller vibrate, you know that's some intense energy getting shot out. Just shot out into god knows what space. Probably signaling like aliens. Ah, uh, however, these yellow paths blocking the way are gone now. This allows us to continue our playthrough. Dark Souls. So yeah, we can rest here, we can offer souls, I don't have any alert souls. You can try and level up, can't level up, and we can warp. I'm gonna warp though to Firelink. Wolfring. Um, well he's gone. He's 100% gone. I have no idea where he is. Just kidding, I do. Because I've played the game before. She still has nothing to say to you. Reinforce it. Nothing. No response. She still can't speak. There's only, I think, one, maybe two ways to get her to speak. And you know how we killed uh, Tarek earlier? Well, you let Tarek kill her. Spoiler alert. Tarek kills her. Sorry. And then, right before we, the area where we fought Dragon Slayers, Hornstein and Smo, you can use the item that you get from like the dead area and invade his world and then like fight him for her lowered soul and then you can give it back to her. Or, I think if you choose the ring, you do it. So, oh look! Here's the guy from earlier. He's down here now. And he has a heater shield as well. He's gone, as you can see. He's no longer white. He, he's now like burn color. So it looks like he's gone hollow. But he's a smart hollow. He doesn't apparently need to get backstabbed. But we'll just unlock him. Oh no, he's too smart to get stun locked. Just kidding. Okay, apparently he's too smart for me because he dodged my strong attack. There we go, he's dead. 
And I guess I just auto locked onto this hollow, so they're gonna die too. He only dropped like a thousand souls, nothing else. He was useless to me. What are you hiding from, Hollow? Life? How did I not hit you? Okay, well. I'm gonna go back on up to Firelink Shrine. And call it a night there. I have like such a mismatch of armor on. So we have the Great Club, a heater shield, Havel's chest, Walder armor, the stone boots and stone and stone gloves. I am a mismatch, but it works. It works, and that's the only thing that matters, is that it works. Actually, since I did upgrade the giants... God, it's just not better than, like, anything from the stone. Other than it's less weight. It's just less weight. It's not better than any, like, and the poison in, like, fire is a little better. I definitely need to upgrade it full to plus five. And... Oh well. I'll repair our equipment really quick. Only the helm took some damage. So, I'm gonna end it here. I'll catch you guys next time. See y'all later. Peace.